country is very warm. It's family. It's all those traditional values that are very strong right now. Country sort of expresses a deep American symbolic feeling we all have. The country lifestyle is an attitude first. It's something that evokes charm, nostalgia, reminiscences. The country is constantly evolving. It's a feeling that you've come home and it's comfortable and it works. All across America, people have discovered country. But it's clear that country style has always been with us, reflecting a basic need that so many of us share for hearth, home, comfort, safety, a break from the tense, hard edge of our modern lives. Our Country Living Chronicle will explore America's move to country, and in particular, we'll focus on how one magazine, Country Living, has come to shape the way millions of today's families want to live. My vision behind Country Living that really stirred me into the launch, it gets back to a very, very personal thing, is I felt there was no magazine being done which for a young family coming along and decided that life somehow wasn't as satisfying, as warm, as, as friendly as, uh, as it once was. There was no place to return. There was no wellspring of good feeling about the home. From the start, Rachel Newman has guided Country Living's editorial mission. Our readers feel very comfortable about telling us what they need, what they want, and what they don't like about the magazine. They don't see us just as editors behind clipboards in New York City. They feel they know us, that we're approachable, and they believe what we say. They have adopted us as their guide. Rabbit. This is a majolica pattern that was made for Macy's in the early 20th century. For Macy's? Real rare, yeah. Terrific. We tell them not mm -hmm. only um, how they can make their houses look warm and comfortable, we give them recipes, we, we do travel pieces. We tell them about every area that affects their life. Country Living is not a how-to magazine in the old sense of the word. We don't have pages and pages of how-to instructions. Um, we're how-to in the sense that they use us for our ideas. Well, I'm seeing country everywhere in, in the food industry, and I think they have gradually come to understand that this is what people want. Country living readers seem to enjoy working in the kitchen, uh, enjoy cooking together in a lot of cases. The letters that we get indicate that they use our recipes on weekends, they use them to entertain. Our food editorial makes people hungry. Uh, people want to uh, enjoy food and uh, looking at our food editorial, they'll also look at the advertising adjacent to it and want to enjoy that product too. Makes them want to go out and cook. That looks pretty good. Just as country style is influencing the food we eat, it's also influencing what we wear, whether it's Ralph Lauren, Perry Ellis, or L.L. Bean. But no retailer is more synonymous with the country look in home and fashion than Laura Ashley. We find that when we at Laura Ashley have worked with uh, magazines on editorial stories, where they have maybe photographed houses that they have specifically designed for a particular purpose to illustrate a design concept, that those customers who recognize our things will come in and want that, and they will wish to mimic it. Interestingly enough, Country Living and Laura Ashley have grown up very much together, and our relationship with Country Living has always been outstanding. We've always had tremendous rapport in terms of our merchandising and our design ideas. Hey, is Mr. Price there? Patrick Riley from Age. Country Living's incredible growth has even startled the people who report on the magazine industry. The feedback I get from the advertising community about the strengths of Country Living are essentially that it has found a niche and established itself as singular, as the leader. 
this, this is exactly what an advertiser wants, someone who reads intensely and also feels that they're part of this group. They feel that they're part of the club, even though it's a very big club, that reads Country Living. And Country Living's strong, devoted readership is well documented in the magazine's research and circulation figures. Consider this. With its circulation nearly tripling since 1982, it's one of the fastest growing magazines in publishing today. And that growth's been fueled by its consistently strong newsstand performance. Every month, over 650,000 issues of Country Living are bought at newsstands across the country. And more importantly, those issues are read closely. Country Living is in the top five of all magazines in average page exposures. And Country has not only penetrated Heartland USA, but California as well. In Hollywood, you'd be surprised at where Country has emerged. Being in Hollywood, we have a lot of film people. We do a lot of film rentals. We did the house in Vermont and Baby Boom. We're making a bed for Barbara Streisand right now. We have a tremendous demand for reproductions. We're mostly known for our finishes, which look completely authentic. And if they don't, we keep working on them until they do. Things like television sets and VCRs and equipment like that have a great deal to do with the involvement of making pieces of reproductions that will work with all those pieces of equipment. It's interesting to note how resilient and accessible country has become. Evolving and adapting to meet modern needs, the country style has become a melting pot of many designs. Like these two houses, the old country and the new country can live side by side. But out here in the retail marketplace, country appeals to a wide variety of tastes, whether it's in stores like Macy's, Sears, or Bloomingdale's. Country is popular across the country now. Country has been popular at Bloomingdale's probably for the last 30 years. We react to um, the needs of the customer, and the, the whole movement and design is much more conservative, much more traditional. We had a couple of very good modern years, and it seems that uh, pretty much since the crash, the modern business has dropped off. If you think about it, if it's the style has lasted 100 years, 200 years, 300 years in some cases, then it is a very comfortable approach. It's a softer approach to an environment of living for today. And it is easy for people to walk onto a furniture floor in an apartment store and see country living immediately, the look. And it's usually one third of the home furnishings floor. Even in tabletop and in bed linens, there's always a romantic country look, whether it's poppies, roses, or a wicker look. Country's easy. Country's wonderful. Country's fun. Country is very family-oriented. Most young people today who are looking towards families are going to find that country is a style that they're going to be able to start with and live with throughout their adult lives. It's really America. I mean, it's a pride of place and a pride of being American, and it's a pride of where you've come from. People talk about country style in terms of specific kinds of furniture, but it's really not just specific kinds of furniture. It's how you put them together in your own way. You know the way I feel about you. Advertisers are clearly capitalizing on the well-publicized return to the family, the heart, the home. Providing a conducive environment for these advertising messages, Country Living's ad pages have almost tripled since it began publishing monthly. This has resulted in Adweek naming Country Living the number one hottest magazine in advertising revenue and page growth for the past five years. The benefits of advertising in Country Living for my clients have been absolutely wonderful. We know that that we get results from country living. And again, it gets back to basics, and that is an intense readership, cares about the magazine. Advertisers say, if you've got the readers, you've got the numbers, I want the page. From the clothes we wear, to the food we eat, to the way we furnish our homes, wherever you look today, country has experienced an unprecedented resurgence. But where is country going? 
Marketing experts agree that country will be with us for generations to come. And country living will be there, helping millions of American families shape their lives.